Let's make the call. Good day. Thank you for calling No Labs AI Agency. My name is Steve, and I'll be happy to assist you today. How can I help you? Do you have any questions about our services? Or yeah, actually, like I was looking for a business AI automation for my business, like a lead appointment system or something, but it must be a voice AI agent system and it needs to connect with my CRM and do an appointment booking and all those sort. Could you provide this kind of service? We specialize in AI automation solutions, including voice AI, which sounds like exactly what you're looking for. Our mm -hmm. team at No Labs AI Agency can definitely help you with a lead appointment system that utilizes voice AI mm -hmm. technology. That's great. Uh, how much does it cost usually if you have done similar project before? At NOLA's AI agency, we operate as both a pure AI automation agency and a web development agency, which allows us to offer tailored solutions to our clients. Since every project is unique, our pricing varies depending on the specific requirements and complexity of the project. Right. That so how do you happy. get uh, the requirement? Would you set up a call or something? To better understand your requirements, If you are not able to give me quotation right now, I would rather spend my time with and live callers. I completely understand your time is valuable. Mm -hmm. If you'd prefer, we could schedule a follow-up call with one of our experts who can discuss your project in more detail and provide yep. more Yeah, so let's do that, please. I can see you're calling from plus four four seven four zero four seven eight. Shall I use this number for the follow-up? I'll make sure to pass on your details to our team. Someone will reach out to you within 24 hours to discuss your voice AI project and provide yeah. Sure, let's use that number. That's fine. Yep. I've confirmed that we'll use plus four four seven four zero four seven eight two for the follow up. I'll pass on your interest in our voice AI solutions, specifically for lead appointment systems. Thank you very much. Cheers. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and I am looking forward to our team getting in touch with you soon to discuss your voice AI project in more detail. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye. You too. Have a great day, and we'll be in touch soon. Goodbye. So, as you can see, the voice ai agents are becoming so much realistic and you know what this entire project took almost 100 lines of code i kept on wondering when i have run this demo first time that i have literally spent i don't know two or three weeks to create my naughty ai open source project that i have already discussed in this channel before and that was not even any close to this output the technology is growing really really faster and it's becoming really really simpler when i show you the code what we have done to create this voice ai agent system you would be amazed it took only 100 lines of code the speech to speech model that was powering up this ai agent was an open source model which is ultravox which i have covered also in the channel before so i think let's not waste any more time let's go to the screen and let me actually show you how it's all done um, this is powered up by ultravox and twilio this is really going to be one of the easiest and simplest tutorial you have ever seen to create a voice AI agent system. And trust me, you can use this voice AI agent system for your business straight away after this tutorial. So let's go to that and let me actually explore the code and give you some tips if you want to use this kind of agent for your business use case. Welcome to the code tutorial. Before I actually go to the code, all I want to just tell you that maybe the demo that you have seen, there could be some muffled voice that was from AI agent you have seen. Trust me, the muffled voice is because of my uh, microphone here, because this microphone has a noise cancellation and it was kind of able to understand that the voice was from mobile output or something. So it was kind of suppressing the voice. In real time, the voice output was really, really amazing there was not even a slightest break when I was speaking with the AI agent. And I'm anyway going to show you how to run that. So please go ahead and try that in your own local system. I promise you would be really, really amazed by the voice output that this model is producing or this AI agent is producing. Under the hood, I am using Ultravox and I'm using their cloud hosted model. However, if you are looking to use your own self-hosted model, I have already covered how you can self-host Ultravox in, in your own server. Uh, so please go ahead and check that tutorial. And if you're looking to build this kind of AI agents for your business or looking for some custom tailored solution, or maybe building your SaaS and you are in need of a technical team, I have, have launched the AI agency for web development purpose as well for creating different voice AI agent system as well. So make sure to check out the link and maybe reach out 
if you need any kind of technical help, if you need a technical team to help you build this kind of customized AI agent solution. Now let's go to the actual tutorial. This is a really simple system. As you can see, this has approximately 134 lines of code that we have created. But when I will run it through, you will be amazed to see that it's how simple it is. There is only one file that is important here, which is index.js. There is no other coding file that is needed to power up this agent. What is really happening is with this JS file, we are creating a backend API. So as you can see, it's a Node.js Express server that we are doing, which will be running on 3000 port. And then here we are setting the Ultrabox API key, which is coming from the .env file. So in your .env file, all you need to do is just add the Ultrabox API key. How do you get that? Very simple, go to app.ultrabox.ai sign up and get an api key <laughs> i have already consumed their 30 minutes free tier that they provide so you get 30 minutes free for your trial and testing so go ahead and test that and then what is happening is we are providing our system prompt here we say hey you are steve you answer calls based on the no labs ai agency and then we are specifying the call config where we are using this ultrabox model now you can use even their latest model i think now they have dropped 0.5 Ultravox 0.5 or something that supports up to 20 language. So it's a multilingual model. And let me know if you want me to cover a multilingual use case on this particular model. I would love to do that, but primarily because this channel is an English first channel. That's why I don't bring a lot of multilingual use case. Uh, but I think in the last one, I have brought a multilingual caption use case. If you have not seen, go ahead and check the video. But I'm, I'm happy to cover the Ultravox multilingual use cases. Let me know in the comments. And then we are using the voice of Mark. There are a couple of voices that they have released recently as well. And we are using Twilio, of course, for making the call. So for the VoIP and PSTN based connection. Now here, the first call. So I have already covered about Ultravox in really great details how things work. So usually what happens is you make a first rest call to ultrabox api then it gets you an url like the join url and then basically your ai agent join that url and then does the communication this is how it works and here is exactly what that is happening so we are sending the ultrabox call config which we have created here that contains the system prompt model mark and voice and everything else and we have said the first speaker is a first speaker agent now you can make it user as well so if the user is calling the ai agent will wait for user instruction or users to say something you can control that and then it's making the ultravox call and basically whenever it's getting the um, response it's just basically writing that onto the twilml stream in this incoming api we are tracking the caller number so whenever through twilio you call any of these webhook uh, you get the caller number and we are putting the caller number dynamically into the system context so that the agent knows where the call is coming from. And then we are saying if they inquire about services, what they have to explain. And this agent doesn't have any tool calling or anything re really because I wanted to show you the easiest way to start an AI agent system. But if you want me to cover tool calling and all this thing, I will definitely bring those use cases as well. Uh, definitely this uh, agent can do tool calling easily as well now here what's happening uh, that it's uh, calling with the dynamic prompt so that is the dynamic prompt we have created here and we got the join url by making the ultravox call function here which is what that is the function and as soon as we get the join url then simply what we are doing is we are initiating our two lml voice response method we're just initiating the twilml library and we are just connecting to twilio twilml uh, based app so this is a twilml based app and we are specifying the join url so this is where the twilml client would join so that's an ultrabox room uh, i think it is also powered by webrtc by in the back end i'm not too sure but this is what my belief because the response is really really fast and i haven't seen any WebSocket based only connection provide this kind of uh, response. So 
could it could be possible that ultrafox is using WebRTC in the back end i'm not too sure again but what it is happening is it's using the 2lml library to do all the processing basically so it's not even dependent on the 2lml voice transcription the, the ultrafox agent itself is listening to whatever user is saying and then it is able to come up with its own response it's a speech to speech model that is why it's very fast as you have seen and we are just using the 2lml api to connect through the Twilio network and, and connect the VoIP with the PSTN based phone number network. And this is basically we are just starting the uh, server here on 3000 port as you can as you can see when we have started a 3000 port has started but uh, for able to Twilio to contact this AI agent we need to open a public URL. For that what we have done we have just started an NGROC uh, instance here so if you run ngrok http 3000 you would get this uh, public url so this is accessible publicly all you have to do is go to your 2lml account so let me actually show you what i have done so i went to the 2lml account this is the number that i have bought and here i say it when a call come in just put this url and at the end we say slash incoming so if you see the code this is the slash incoming root that that's what we have put it here and that's all and nothing else you have to do just click save and you are ready with your ai agent so how cool is that how how easy it is isn't it now this code base will be available to download for absolutely free so use the link from the down below and go ahead and download the code if you want to test it up yourself and you can test it up i think almost absolutely free so just do a registration into twilio get a free phone number if you are into us region if you're into uk region you can i think still get a us number and you can still make it work i have tested that before it it used to work and what you need to do is that once you buy the number you just go to into this active numbers option and update this url there after you start this agent how to start this agent again everything is written here in the readme file or how to install this particular code after you get it and how to start it what all api key that is needed everything is written here and just follow along and this should be running in no time in your local system i wouldn't unnecessarily drag this tutorial much this is a really really simple code uh, that you can run in your local system again make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'm gonna bring more such videos more such use cases uh, maybe add more tool a multi-call stage and everything with this uh, ai agent system in the near future so make sure you hit subscribe to the channel if you have learned something new make sure you hit a like button as well and i will hopefully see you onto the next video till then take care bye